Playoff game one now, history. Time for game two of this series uh, here on 2K Sports. We're in the first round. Shaquille O'Neal is here. So is Kenny the Jet Smith. I'm Ernie Johnson. And on tap tonight, it's the Spurs going up against the home team. Taking a look. We are just about ready to get underway here in game two of the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. 2K Sports brings it to you live once again. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. We've got the San Antonio Spurs facing the home team. A successful outing in game one has them right where they want to be with a chance here, guys, to take game two on their home court. And this is the game that gives them a chance to put the hammer down. I mean, if they can build on their game one win with another one tonight, they'll have a stranglehold on this series. Well, if you flip the script, though, a loss tonight in their home court advantage evaporates. And that would put a ton of pressure on them going on the road. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. Leonard and Aldridge, the talented forward duo. Murray out there with Larry Hughes. And it's Vucevic in at the center, locking down the middle. Iverson against Hughes at the elbow. Vucevic. Lock at six. No good with the layup. Carter against Hughes. Carter dishes to Covington. Shoots over Leonard. Rebounded by Vucevic. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Did a good job guarding the mid-range. Extended out nicely and definitely bothered the shot. Sabonis, no good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Hughes, the pass to Murray. Here's Hughes. The pass to Vucevic. It's deflected. Outstanding defensive instincts by Sabonis. Really good timing when to rise up to reject shots. Here's Iverson. It's deflected. Yes, yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They right now are searching for a bucket. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on baddest one. That is his first foul of the game. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. To the middle. Shot from six. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first basket. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And, and, and you hope that this inspires the offense. The game is about putting it in the basket, and that first bucket took a while. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. One shot, line the lane. Free throw no good for Iverson. On offense, here are the Spurs. Looking for their first basket of the game. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Carter. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Carter's got his first two points. So it's the Spurs now. Four-point game. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. And clearly, he's in a lot of pain. They, they call time, and the trainer's going to get a chance to go out and check him over. Home team on D. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Covington in the corner. Pass to Chi. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound in this one. Leonard, no luck. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Iverson against Murray. 
Now, here's Sabonis, guarded closely over Aldridge. Sabonis with the bucket. Sabonis has a nice looking shot, soft and good arc on it. Sweet stroke. Here's Murray, passes it to Hughes. Back to Murray, tries a three. Rebounded by Chi. Carter with the three. Vucevic with the rebound. Spurs trail by six. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. He kicks to Murray. Back to Vucevic. Six to shoot. Carter against Hughes. Carter with the block. The drive by Iverson. Here's Chi. That's good. Great play set up by Iverson. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. And Vucevic kicks to Murray. Down low. With the fadeaway. Rebounded by Chi. Chi's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Sabonis. Iverson outside. Here's the three. Rebound San Antonio. Vucevic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. The pass to Murray. And here's Vucevic. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. They get a hand on it. They need this one. Will not go. This is off the front iron. And here's Iverson outside. Falls through. He's now made two of four. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Yeah, no let up. The killer instinct on display trying to put this team away. I love the tenacity. San Antonio calls timeout. And with the tide running against them, needs to talk it over with his guys. You're exactly right. Halting the other team's run momentarily. Let's see what he comes up with now, Greg. Teams deciding to change it up. Giles, the pass to McKenzie. It's good, and he makes his first shot of the game. And some guys just have a nose for scoring, and this one couldn't have been any easier. Yeah, that was actually no defense at all there, Greg. I mean, layups don't come any easier than that. I mean, they're piling it on now. Thornwell can't get it to go. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. Iverson with the bucket. Oh, great ball movement there. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Kicks it to Powell. Pass to Lamb. Looking to end the run. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And maybe that'll get them going. They need to find a rhythm. Yeah, you know, good to see them finally find the bottom of the net because I think they got to build off of that. Aggressive coming out of the gate here, guys. Wow. Tone setting, that's what I call it. Grabbing this one by the throat early on and then squeezing it hard. With one on the clock. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And so it's the home team sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. What a defensive effort they put on Kawhi Leonard. It's rare to see him have the kind of trouble he's had tonight. And we'll be back with you shortly. It's the NBA playoffs. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action here in this game two. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? 
Yeah, it didn't take them long to get that transition game going. Yeah, exactly. Right from the start, Greg, they were looking to get out and run, sprinting to their opportunities. On the floor for San Antonio, they've got Korkmaz. Powell is out there with Thornwell. Then there's Kufus, and it's Lamb in at the point. Now here's Powell. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Lock it two. Thornwell can't get it to go. That's one he knows he should have drained. Here's McGrady. Can't hit that one. So the Spurs will take it the other way. They are looking to bounce back after the bitter loss on Saturday. And you know what? They were giving away points missing at the line. A big factor in the outcome. Ditto that. When you give up this many points at the line, makes it a lot easier for the opposition. The Spurs shooting their first free throw of the night. The length and mobility of, of Powell is, is really impressive. He's a solid big guy who I think continues just to get better at both ends. Iverson kicks to McGrady. No good from outside. Spurs trail by 11. Passes to Lamb. to Kufus. Here's Korkmaz. Spurs working the ball around now. Iverson grabs the board. Inside, Powell with the steal. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Here's Korkmaz. He feeds it to Kufus. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Now here's Iverson. He's got seven. The pass to Bacon. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. Spurs trail by nine. Pass to Kufus. Over McGrady. And that one hits back iron. From downtown, good on the three-point shot. McGrady's got five now. And you know, Kevin, they count on him to provide offense, and he knows how to fill it up. Takes it to Kufus. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Lamb, Iverson covering. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Korkmaz. Misses the step back jump shot. Guys, they've really built a nice lead here. And doesn't show any sign of slowing down. McGrady, that's good. Great play set up by Iverson. Iverson's got four assists now tonight. Here's San Antonio now. Lamb, Iverson covering. Here's Lamb. Tries again, and the layup is good. Kufus has got four points this quarter. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. Yeah, it's finishing your defense, Greg. We know that. You can defend, then you got to rebound the miss, and you got to get to the glass with intensity. Here's McKenzie. Makes the most of the high percentage shot. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of blanks there. Can't hit a thing. Has to be deflating.
so San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Murray kicks to Leonard, pass to Aldridge. Over Sabonis. Rebounded by Chi. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. McGrady passes to Carter. And a miss there on the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Leonard. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Hughes. Drops in the tray. No excuse for that kind of defense. I'm positive they're upset about that. Here's McGrady. That's in there. Carter with the assist. 14 points for B train. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And Greg, it's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now, here's Vucevic. Dishes it to Aldrich. Just five on the clock. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And you know, the length and height of Aldridge make him a tough matchup. He's a hard guy to go against, a strong forward that has an impressive mid-range stroke. And so LaMarcus Aldridge nails them both. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Here's McGrady, buries the long-range jumper. McGrady's got 17. Yeah, but there's no stopping him right now. I mean, he's locked in this quarter. This defense has to get the ball out of his hand. Pass to Hughes. Spurs working the ball around now. The reverse, and it's good on the layup. Aldrich has got four points now in the quarter. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. But they recover it. Carter with the three. Hits it from three-point range. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. And here is Murray. Vince Carter getting it to go from deep. Sabonis against Aldridge. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Murray for three. And it's rebounded by Covington. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Inside and stolen by Aldridge. And there's the pass to Leonard. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Leonard has really become so good at catching and firing. I mean, he doesn't allow the defense any time to alter his shot. And so it's the home team with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. Their work from beyond the arc has been a highlight. A lot of threes finding the bottom of the bucket. And we'll be right back after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey folks, we hope you've enjoyed the first half. I'm Ernie Johnson. Next to me, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It's the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Taking a look at this home squad, they're in a perfect position to grab a hold of this series, up 1-0 already, and playing incredible basketball, which has given them a huge lead at halftime. Uh, they just couldn't have asked for a better scenario. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Well, it has been an electric performance. These guys were firing on all cylinders. They came out aggressive going after those rebounds, and they were piling it up. I think they wanted to send a message with their physicality, and they're going to be nearly impossible to stop if they're playing that way. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? Well, there are a few areas they need to improve on, but perimeter defense is priority numero uno. They got to be quicker to close out on the three-point shooters, and you got to prevent the open looks. They weren't fighting through screens. They're just not doing enough, Ernie, especially outside. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Welcome back as we get set to continue our coverage of this round one playoff matchup. What a game we're seeing from B-Train. 
And, and you know, when the game is as important as this one, you expect to get a big performance from him in that first half. He delivered. And Greg, here in the second, the stakes are raised even higher. So he's going to have to continue to give them someone to lean on. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. Robert Covington out there with Demonis Sabonis. Then it's Iverson. Then there's Carter. And it's Chi in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And he makes both free throws. Iverson with the ball. Pass to Sabonis. Over Aldridge. Sabonis with the bucket. Yeah, I like Sabonis' game inside because he's confident and skilled. Hughes kicks to Aldridge. From 11 feet away, Murray outside. Passes it to Vucevic. Shoots from the baseline. Rebounded by Covington. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. About one minute played here in the second half. Iverson outside. Five on the clock. Over Murray. There's Sabonis. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Sabonis has got six. He does not play the score. I mean, he's going to continue to work his tail off on the glass and make plays just like that. And plays like that have really taken the energy out of those defenders. I mean, you can bet he's going to continue to keep pushing in that area. San Antonio calls timeout. Yeah, just hitting the reset button, a chance to kind of talk some things over. Yeah, recalibration time with the timeout call there. Dwight Powell's checked in for San Antonio. Vucevic finds Powell. Vucevic down low. Defended by Covington. Vucevic with the bucket. And Vucevic is crafty, clever, close to the bucket. Carter outside to the wing on the left. Here's Chi. Yep, that one goes. Chi's got his second bucket of the night. Guys, they've had a solid start to the second half offensively. Gotten good looks, and they've made three out of four of them. Murray, the pass to Leonard. And stolen by Iverson. Here's the break. Here's Carter. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. One shot. The free throw off from Carter. Yeah, Carter just a freak of nature. One of the best dunkers the game has ever seen. A, a top-tier shooting guard who just embraces the spotlight. Excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. Iverson outside. To the paint. With the fadeaway. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Spurs trail by 18. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Pass to Corkmans. Spurs passing it around. Four on the shot clock. Back to Powell. Three-pointer. The rebound by Giles. Giles has got his fourth rebound in this one. The shot's good from Carter. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Here's Lamb. The rebound by Giles. 
Giles has got rebound number five here tonight. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Iverson with the bucket. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Another shot, and that's two points on the layup. Kufus has got six. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Back to Carter, and the pass to Iverson. Fades. Yep, that one goes. He has six. And since they've come out of halftime, they've been extremely poised and very efficient. Yeah, I agree. I mean, certainly a step up from the first half. They're more engaged, more focused here in this second half, and they're getting good results. Korkmaz, no good. One thirty-seven left to play in the third. Can't hit from in close. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And the shot goes in from Thornwell. And Teron Liu wants a timeout. B trains checked in for Bacon. Spurs also with the sub. Larry Hughes is checked in for Korkmaz. 125 left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to McKenzie. Shoots over Powell. He's on target from eight feet out. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Down low. And the dunk by Powell. And, you know, this is what Powell does best. Establishes himself deep inside and jams it home. The tray. And it's McGrady that time on the assist by Iverson. And that's 20 points for B-Train. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either. So that's a double-edged sword there. To the middle. Kufus the pass to Hughes. He's again a nice shot by Kufus. Kufus has got eight. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Iverson. Rebound San Antonio. Kufus has got seven rebounds in the game. To the paint. Here's Thornwell. Knocked loose. And now it's Giles running. He can go all the way. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Passes to Thornwell. This one for three. He can't hit that time. And so it's the home team. Finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. Back to the action after this word. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, clearly, he's the guy that stirs the drink for him, and that's how he does it with his dynamite passing skills. And we welcome you back to our coverage of round one in the NBA playoffs. On the court right now for the Spurs, Leonard and Aldridge, the talented forward duo. Larry Hughes is out there with Murray, and it's Kufus in at the five, roaming the paint. McGrady, offensive rebound, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there, earned those free throws. The free throw drops for Chi. Vucevic checked in for Costa Kufus. And he can't hit the second. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Spurs. 
Now Hughes got a piece of it. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. And Vucevic throws it down. And how about the way Vucevic leaps off the floor? I mean, showing no respect or remorse when he attacks the rim. Trains the three-pointer. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Well, you know, the D just hasn't been there for real. I mean, these shooters are getting any perimeter shot they want. It's a bunch of warm-up jump shots out there. Now here is Aldridge. Back to Vucevic. Good, and Aldridge gets the assist. And that's now six points for Vucevic. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. And even under pressure in close, I think they've still done a good job maintaining concentration and converting the opportunities. Murray with it, covered by Mills. And Vucevic kicks to Leonard. Murray for three. It's not going to go for him. To the inside. Vucevic with the block. Hey, that expansive reach of Vucevic has really helps him on the defensive end. He uses that length to really bother the confidence of shooters. And it's blocked. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, as they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. Now here's Murray. Outside Leonard. He kicks it to Aldridge. Over Sabonis. And too long on the shot. Aldridge has gone one for five from the field, 20%. Here's Hampton. Goes back up. And Sabonis lays it up and in. And you can see how this game is going. I mean, put a body on somebody. Exactly, man. Come on. You got to be physical down there. There's got to be some intensity and some physicality on the boards. Now, here's Vucevic. He dishes it to Aldridge. Five to shoot. Here's Hughes. Gets a very good look and converts. Boy, a fantastic job by Aldridge to lay into that defender on the screen. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Puts up a three. Here's Sabonis. He can't get that one to fall. Great D that time from Vucevic. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Leonard kicks to Vucevic. There's the dish to Aldridge. Puts up a three. Sinks the triple. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. The pass to Hampton. Launches a three. Connects from three-point range. And that's how you answer back. Exactly, Greg. I mean, go right back at him. Show him you can shoot from outside all night long. Now here's Murray. Shoots over Mills. Leonard looking over the floor. Kicks it to Murray. The Spurs working the ball around now. Here's Vucevic. A second chance effort. And it's laid in by Aldridge. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Here's Hampton. Kept alive. Sabonis. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. I'm always appreciative of the aggressive mindset. Get it down in the paint and go to work with confidence. Here's Murray. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Free throw good, Murray. And the Spurs with some changes. Kufis checked in for Vucevic. Sendarius Thornwell comes in for Leonard. And it's Korkmaz in for Larry Hughes. And so Murray nails both of them. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. Mills passes to Sabonis. Over Aldridge. Second chance shot. Gets it to go. That one good from Giles. 
Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Now here's Murray, covered by Mills. With a floater, the wide open look here for Aldridge. The baseline jumper goes down. This is not the team we've been watching for most of the night. Well, hopefully they can ride this momentum into the next game because this one is done. Over. Fine. Here's Giles. Over Kufus. Gets it to go. That one good from Giles. And, and that's a killer instinct on display as they try to put this one on ice. And, you know, this is what's needed at this point in the game, Greg. The great teams know how to close it out. Now, here's Kufus, and out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. Here's Thornwell. And Bacon pulls it down. Now that's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. Mm -hmm. Textbook defense all around. Nice job at contesting the shot without fouling, and that's how you do it. Well done. Murray right side to the inside. Aldridge kicks to Murray. Can't get it to fall. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.